You know, just once it'd be nice to log into Twitter and see that something fun's happened. Like, I don't know, a bunch of puppies have found new homes. But instead, I log on to Twitter and find nothing but misery. And today is no different. Unfortunately, we've had the news that Ella Watts, producer of Doctor Who Redacted and the creator of Doctor Who Redacted, was not invited to return for the second season, which was confirmed. I spoke about that in yesterday's video. This came out following the fact. And what she says is kind of sad on a level. And I'll get to why in a bit. And I just wanted to highlight this story because I think, for me personally, it's just really, really sad. So yeah, I'm not even going to do the subscribe thing. Let's just get into it. So here is her tweet. This is Ella Watt, creator of Doctor Who Redacted. It looks like there's a Doctor Who Redacted season two in the works. Sadly, I won't be working on it. Whilst I was clear I wanted to remain on the project, I was replaced by the BBC without explanation or an application process. I believe I'll be replaced by James Goss as producer. If Redacted Season 2 is anything like his previous work, it'll be fantastic and I wish him the best. Doctor Who means different things to different people. As a fan and a queer woman, to be part of bringing a queer woman-fronted show to the universe was an immensely proud moment in my life. From pitching it to 2018, to bringing Juno Dawson on board in 2019, then producing, casting, script editing, writing, and directing it, it's been incredible. I'm sorry I've not been given the opportunity to see it through. This isn't the first time in podcasting that women have been replaced by men following successful first seasons. I'm heartbroken it happened here. I don't know more. I hope production goes well. I can't wait to listen. As you can kind of tell, this is a kind of a sad state of affairs. Now, to be clear, I wasn't, you know, like a big, big redacted follower. I listened to the first few episodes. I didn't finish it, which, by the way, had nothing to do with its quality. I just got busy with other things. And from what I listened to the first four or five episodes, it was really, really good. But I don't think that matters here. I think no matter who you are, you can kind of see a creator's creation being taken away without an application process, I think is wrong. And I think it's especially wrong given the optics of replacing a show that was fronted by a queer woman and was very much written with those perspectives in mind in the same way that Russell T. Davis would write shows with the perspective of gay men, things like It's a Sin and even things like Torchwood as well. I think this in particular is a rather sad indictment of some of the practices that go on even in media today. You know, people go on about how supposedly woke the media is these days, but the reality is there's still change that needs to be made coming from the very top. And I want to make it clear now, I have nothing against James Goss. James Goss is a fantastic, fantastic man who's done great, great things in the Doctor Who expanded universe. However, that doesn't change the fact that this not only doesn't look good, but it's just not very moral in my opinion, to just take someone's project away from them, essentially, without an application process or an explanation. And it does certainly read as though they wanted someone who was quote-unquote safer. The one thing I will say, and this is my own opinion on this, and I didn't want to tweet this because I knew it was going to cause some stuff, but I wanted to say it here. I've already seen some people making this into a current era, as in RTD era thing. And the one thing I will say is, is it possible that Russell had some involvement in Redacted Season 2? Maybe. I don't know. But I think it's important to recognise and remember the BBC is hundreds of different departments. I think it's very easy in this online age to find someone to pin the blame on. Find one person and be like, that's the problem there. But I think the reality is, it goes a lot deeper than that. And I think boiling it down to one era, one man is kind of a narrow way of viewing it, at least to me. But yeah, it's just incredibly unfortunate that this situation has unfolded in the way that it has. I hope that Ella Watts has great success in her future endeavours. And like I say, no matter what you think about anything, really, I think we can all agree that someone's project being basically removed from them without, you know, even acknowledging it or without even telling them why is not good. and. At the very least, professional courtesy, she should have been told that she was going to be replaced. And the fact that she wasn't, and the fact that they went with James Goss, who is, whether you want to hear the optics or not, a white guy, it's not a great look. 
And I want to say now, I'm not speaking on behalf of anyone who I don't represent here. I just wanted to highlight this because I wanted to use my platform to say, this isn't good. And it's very, very unfortunate. And it's sad that this isn't the first time something like this has happened. And I hope anyone who's been affected by stuff like this eventually gets the respect they deserve. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.